Alright everybody, I'm sorry if I don't do a proper fucking introduction this afternoon, but I am fucking pissed the fuck off right now. I am so goddamn sick of Monday Night Raw. It is not even funny. I am, my, I, my, my face is fucking red right now. I can't find words. I am pissed the hell off right now. Every goddamn week, dude, dude talks about... It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. And it's the same fucking shit every goddamn week. And I can't do it anymore. I can't sit through three hours of this crap anymore. It is so sad and demeaning to see all these guys that have such great talent. they are such gifted athletes be treated like this. It makes me sick to my stomach. Oh my god. This Raw that I'm watching right now is the absolute worst Raw I've watched in a while. And I know what you're saying. Oh, Undertaker was on there. Joe and Michael was on there. I don't give a damn. Sure, they're on there. That's perfectly fine with me. But they didn't do nothing. Oh, setting up for Hell in a Cell. Yeah, I'll watch it only for the Hell in a Cell match. I could give a fuck about the rest of the damn pay-per-view. But the whole rest of the show ain't been nothing but fucking tag team matches and one singles match. Are you out of your stupid ass mind? All fucking tag team matches are your main show that's supposed to attract all the fucking fans. You're going to have a freaking tag team match after tag team match after tag team match. Are you fucking serious? And the one singles match they did fucking have so far was Seth Rollins versus fucking cross-eyed dipshit Ryback. Oh my god. I, as a wrestling fan, have never been so disappointed in my life. I, I don't think I've ever been this upset about anything. And I know what you're going to say. If it bothers you so much, then why not? Why don't you just not watch it? Well, th I'm starting to go th towards that direction. You know, I if it's not going to get better, then why watch it in the first place? If they're not going to improve, if they're not going to change, then there's no reason to watch. And they wonder why their ratings are going down. Look at the fucking screen, you goddamn idiots. Look at the fucking garbage that is on screen. You wonder why your ratings are going down. Do you even watch Raw, you fucking idiots? Do you? Do you fucking watch Raw? Do you watch the program that you put out every week? Because I don't think you do. If you knew what was fucking wrong with the program, you would have changed it. But you just don't care. Oh my god. WWE is losing ratings, is going down. And WWE talks about, oh, as a result of lower ratings in the past few weeks... There is going to be some big changes to WWE and Monday Night Raw. Oh, yeah, the fuck right, motherfucker. You must be smoking crack because ain't no way Raw is ever going to change. Now I now I see what Bubba Dong Funkin was talking about. Now I see what JD from New York is talking about. I see what Sean's View Entertainment is talking about. WWF, Attitude Era, WWF, all these great channels. You know... All the shit they post about WWE being so bad, I never believed it. You know, I always, I always held on to WWE, thinking it was gonna get better. But it's been the same fucking crap since 2000 and fucking goddamn fucking 2000 fucking nine. It has not changed. Sure, people have gone in and out, but has it really changed that much? No, it hasn't. Now I see what they were saying. Now I know why they were right. This is fucking garbage. This is shit. This is this is not worthy of being on television. This is a waste of three hours of your life every single week. And I'm watching fucking Raw right now. Fucking six-man tag team match. Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, and Neville versus Sheamus... Rusev and Bad News Barrett. Six guys. Six 
fucking guys that have amazing talent who can put on good matches. We're being treated like absolute fucking garbage. It makes me sick to my stomach as a fucking wrestling fan. It, it, it makes my stomach turn. I don't feel good now. I got a headache from watching fucking Raw. Just trying to process this bullshit through my mind is making me have a fucking aneurysm. I'm going to pass out and start seizuring because I'm thinking about it so hard. I can't process it through my mind. Why WWE has went to this fucking level of boring ass, dra dragging out ass fucking garbage. Every week, three hours, they drag everything out. They run out of ideas. That's why you need to go... Back to fucking two hours, bitch. Three hours is way too long. It might have been a good idea at first because since it was two hours, people wanted more. But now that you made it three hours, the shit drags out too fucking long. And now you got a fucking problem on your hands. But you want to sit there and act like there's no fucking problem going on when everybody else knows that there's a fucking problem here and you're not fucking doing anything about it. And Triple H and everybody knows that there's a fucking problem, but I ain't seen nothing fucking change yet. Not a damn thing. And it's it's a damn shame the way WWE treats their talent. Like Cesaro, I'm seeing him right now. Cesaro's fighting fucking Sheamus. This is the first time Cesaro's been on Raw in like close to a goddamn month. Oh my god. Freaking! The crowd ain't even behind Cesaro anymore. Be they're just like, where the hell has this guy been? Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need to watch Ring of Honor and NXT because that's the only place real wrestling is anymore. Fucking TNA and fucking WWE are absolute shit now. It pisses me the fuck off as a wrestling fan. Wrestling is my life. It's my passion. I used to love WWE and Ruthless Aggression and everything. And 2009 wasn't all that bad either. It was okay. But ever since then, I've been let down week by week. Year by year. And I don't know how much longer I can fucking do this. Three hours every fucking week of absolute fucking garbage. I can't. And WWE acts like it's great action. The crowd isn't into the matches. I don't see people on their fucking feet. No one gets excited. WWE just needs to realize they don't fucking have it anymore. They lost it. They fucking dropped the ball. The ball popped. Whatever bitch ass expression you want to make up, they did it. WWE lost his balls a long time ago. Oh my god, this is fucking bullshit. I'm at a loss of fucking words right now. I am so pissed the fuck off. I'm sweating, I'm red, I'm starting to foam at the mouth. My eyes feel like they're going to roll up in the back of my head. I feel like I'm going to start spazzing out. Oh my god. I can't, I cannot keep doing this every week, WWE. I'm done. Until I see a fucking change in this fucking goddamn piece of shit fucking company, I'm not watching anymore. Until I see the fucking changes that we've been promised for so fucking long as wrestling fans, until I see that fucking change, I will not be watching. I will keep updated, however. I will, I will know what's going on, but I will not watch Raw. Because I just do not fucking care anymore. WWE needs to realize the error of their ways. Or else they're doomed. They're going to be like fucking TNA. Their ratings are going to go down, down, down. Then they ain't going to be able to pay nobody's ass anymore. Then they're going to lose everybody. Then they're going to fucking die out like TNA's dying out. Then nobody's going to have anywhere to go except Ring of Honor. And then Ring of Honor is going to suck. And the, rest, the wrestling world is going to collapse as we know it. The wrestling world is going to come to an end because of WWE. If they do not get better 
they will go out of business, and their superstars will have nowhere left to go except Ring of Honor, and then the fucking ruin Ring of Honor. And then Ring of Honor will collapse, and then there is nowhere left. From there on, they will go down to indies and every fucking thing they can think of until every single fucking wrestling association and business is fucking burned to the goddamn ground. And the fans will wonder why. The fans will know why. But WWE will wonder why. Not realizing it's all their fucking fault in the fucking first place. God. I am fucking raging right the fuck right now. I got, I'm trying to calm my ass down, but it's not fucking working. Every minute I watch Raw, I get angrier. Every fucking match they advertise as being the next match, you fucking ask yourself, why? Why the fuck are they doing this? There's no fucking reason to do it. I want to fucking see it. Why? Just why? I'm not doubting that any of these guys don't have fucking talent. It's just, they're not being booked fucking right. They're not being used fucking right. They're not being able to showcase their fucking talent. And nobody's going to get up there and grab that fucking brass ring that Mr. McMahon was talking about. Because nobody's getting pushed there. Oh, but Seth Rollins is... Seth Rollins is... Seth Rollins is... Fuck Seth Rollins. He's... He's a great athlete. He's a great talent. But the character they fucking have him playing absolutely fucking sucks balls. I hate the character that he's playing. I like him better as Tyler Black. Have him go back to Tyler Black. He would actually mean something. Oh, well, he has the main title. Yeah, because the fucking character he plays, he cheats all the goddamn time. I'm sick of seeing that. I want to see a fucking good wrestling match for the title. Why can't I see a fucking good main event for the title? Why is it always got a fucking end in controversy? Why can't we fucking see something good for once? Why can't we, as wrestling fans, as a whole, see what we fucking crave the most in the world? A good match that keeps us interested on the edge of our seats, wondering what the fuck is going to happen next week. That's all we want. That's all we want. We want wrestling, goddammit. I'm sick of all this fucking entertainment bullshit. Oh, entertainment. Entertainment. Too much fucking entertainment. And not enough wrestling. Oh, well, they have eight matches a night. That's not what the fuck I mean. Re not enough real wrestling. Cut it back to two hours. Cut out 50%, maybe even 60% of the entertainment. Work fucking more on the storylines. Book people the fuck better. Separate Raw and SmackDown as separate fucking brands again. Bring back the World Heavyweight title. Fucking push people that deserve to be fucking pushed. Don't fucking keep screwing people like Cesaro over. And over. And over. Why do you think so many fucking people left WWE that were so good? Shelton Benjamin left because... They kept doing what they did to him, what they're doing to Cesaro. He'll put on an amazing match against, you know, the champion or whatever. Then all of a sudden, they'll have these big plans for Shelton Benjamin. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Forget about that. That's exactly what they're doing to Cesaro. They have him fucking putting on these amazing fucking matches against John Cena and fucking Kevin Owens and all these other guys making, making his matches the fucking highlight of the fucking night. But then WWE just doesn't fucking use them. Because they say Cesaro is fucking boring. Are you out of your fucking mind? Cesaro? Boring? Have you seen the rest of fucking Raw? Do you only watch the fucking Cesaro segments? Because if you watch the rest of fucking Raw, you would understand why Cesaro is not fucking boring. Cesaro is the best wrestler on fucking Raw right now. Besides Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens is a fucking beast. I love Kevin Owens. But they got him fucking facing Ryback. And Ryback's not bad. It's just his moveset fucking sucks. His matches fucking suck. The last good match I seen him in was against Luke Harper. And that was fucking last year. You go ahead and keep... You, you go ahead and fucking keep this up, WWE. You keep this shit up. 
You keep doing it the way you're doing it. You'll see where the fucking future goes. Ratings going down, and you still ain't gonna do nothing about it. Oh, but if the ratings go under one million, they're gonna do something about it. Yeah, they already fucking said they were gonna do something about it, and they haven't done anything yet. Oh, well, they're making big pay-per-view matches. That's not the point. Oh, motherfucker. See, th this is why they don't need fucking SmackDown anymore. I'm looking right now. Miz TV, Dolph Ziggler, fucking Summer Rae on fucking SmackDown. This just makes me want to go out and fucking punch.